and the best thing about it... Did she turn off to get out the van? And the pissing down rain? No. She swore. I did. I'm hungry. She haven't fed me. I'll be feeding the big hole somewhere with a small body. General, important note, read this information carefully prior to starting installation. Stop! Stop! You're going to regret that. You're not going to believe this. But look! <laughs> We're not worthy! We're not worthy! She's in a video! Are you finished? We found her! Well, she had a bad week because she went to the dentist. Yes, I have heard of them before you comment. Um, Emma went to... Emma went to the dentist, right? Um, and I did say to her, like the hairdressers, loads of hair on the floor. If you find any teeth, bring some home for me. But anyway, right, Emma went to the dentist because she had toothache. So they went, stabbed stuff in her mouth, made it worse, then okay. she had to go back. Oh no. Then she rang them because she was in pain and they went, Oh, I'm very sorry, the dentist's not in till tomorrow. Ring back tomorrow because you won't be in pain overnight, you absolute fucking I can't that. Just said it. Um, so, my dentist's some fing thumbs down from me. She's been a big, brave girl this week and she's had a first COVID job. Right there. Right there. Right there. We've gone posh. We bought these. These blind things for inside. One thing I'll say is they're really expensive and they seem to be made out of cheese. They're not the best made things. They're not, and they're not. But they look posh. We wanted them. We see them on Paul's yellow van. Because <laughs> he's posh and all that. Um, lovely guy though, but posh. Pretty simple. The front ones, the side windows, are just four screws. So, let's see if we can figure it out and screw it up and... Mmm. I think this assistant's broken. Your face will be broken in a minute. Do you hear this? Threats on the internet. Anyway, all you need, really... Crack on! Shut your face. There's a drill. Um, because they do come with two packs of screws. Now, weirdly enough, one pack just has self-tapping screws in it. The other pack has self-tapping screws and three rubber things. So we don't know what the rubber things are for. Had you not have ripped the instructions <laughs> off? <laughs> Shh, clean. Right, well, so basically this part just sits on the inside lip of the window. And then we just screw it. Watch your big head, babe. <gasps> Rude. I've got it. Got it. We just screw it there. We screw it down here. And then from the inside, we then screw it into this piece here and there. It's not a screw, it's a star bit. Let me go and get the right star drive. Right, it's a T15 Torx bit or. A Terry 15 star drive. We give them names now. Makes them feel a bit more wanted. So. Hi Terry. It's a self tap and screw. So we go nice and slow. Get it tapped in and go from there. Let's get drilling. And that is literally how you fit the door screens. So to undo them, this piece here, you sort of twist it backwards to get it over that little thing. Ooh. So just twist it back like that and it pops over. So rather than trying to pull it, just twist it over and then they... Now it's just magnet. A little magnet. It just means that you don't have to get out the van and put all the crap on the windows, 
prefer to fall off or not fit because you're fit at a snorkel. <laughs> but you end up giving the front piece to Bruce Lauderdale. Oh no! It's not Bruce Lauderdale, is it? Lord Lauderdale. Lord Lauderdale. I can't speak. Mm. Lord Lauderdale. Who likes listening to Rogan Josh, the podcast? Very popular. Um Hi I, Bruce. Hi Bruce. I have filled him on me Maverick. Hello Liam. Anyway, so that's it. That's basically them and then you just clip in there like that. They're all sturdy, they're all safe. Let's see if the door will shut. It shuts! We didn't break anything! So now we just gotta do the other side. <laughs> then there's the front window screen, which I believe, and I've been informed, it can be a little bit fiddly. So there could be some drama. See, that's the sides in. Easily installed with only six screws. Do you like them? I like them. Do you wanna see what they look like from the outside? Yeah! Bye bye. Bye bye. Why? Awesome. Not very well made though, are they? Bit flimsy, but hey, they do the job prescribed. Or are they flimsy, or are we heavy-handed? Next, we're going to do the front ones. Got a big box. Get it open, see what's inside. Instructions. A couple of rods, a pack of goodies with some glue in it, I can see, and a couple of them. Um, they're gonna be just sticky things for the rods that goes on the floor. No, it doesn't, it goes on the dashboard. Top piece of carom for your top of the window screen and the other side. Then there's one blind, which is situated in there, and then your other blind, which is situated in there. First of all, you've got to take this panel off, which should just pull off, and then lifts out at the bottom. A little clip there that lifts out and pulls out, and then what you need to do is these three clips they come out once you've removed them then in your new one they go in there so you just plop them one there and one there so they go in the place where your existing ones were right so the clips that you've replaced in there and there they will marry in to the holes in the side here on one here. The bottom piece which is here sits down inside this groove here where all your cables are and it slots in. You don't need to put much force on it but you can look from this angle down to see whether the clips line up with them and then just give them a gentle push, give this a gentle push in so it clips. You can actually remove this rubber from the door like that then get you, slot your bottom piece in look down this side make sure the clips are lined up once they're lined up top and bottom give it a squeeze and it's all secure in give a bit of a push in then what you can do is you can then take your rubber push your rubber back on the door make sure your rubber goes over this lip here gentle tap on that one is now in place so now this one's in place we can then do the other side so exactly the same thing once you get this one off take your little white clips one goes on there like so and then the other one clips right in there just like that and then they marry up to the holes 
one there and one there you can see one there and one there and then this unit then pushes in like we did on the other side get in the hole that's what she said once it's slotted in the hole look down this side and then you'll see it line up with the actual points there's one in and there's the other in and then that edge is now in now put your rubber back like you did before so the four sticks that come with it you'll notice on this side you've just got two holes on the other side which is right there on top and bottom you've got two nuts your nuts will screw in to them ends just there so you've got one top and one bottom and then the middle pieces they literally just slot into each other like that one and then the other one slots into it like that dead simple now you do get some glue with it the reason you get some glue with it is the glue you just put a small bit in the threaded end that you're threading into the actual screw you got one bit on and then we can thread that onto there right that's on it seems to go forever now we can do the bottom one which was there so same process take your thread get some glue plonk some of the glue in there and then the same process get it screwed on to this bottom one here right so then you've got one bar there and you've got one bar there which just runs along there now you just got to put them sides in and then marry it up to these pieces dead simple so i'm going to get them two in they just slot in i've just noticed that there's two plastic little lips in there and then there's also two completely separate screws that must go through them holes that are in there and in the bottom and literally screw from the other side so we need to take this panel off again and see what's going on how about reading the instructions that'd tell you wouldn't it right so now i've got this panel off because i don't read instructions emma did say the other side of your pole goes in that hole right there and then you get two separate screws that screw into it from this side so they've got to go on first don't forget to put your glue in fact you don't need glue because they've got plastic on so the glue you don't need for these so go on there and you're going to need a screwdriver to screw this screw in from this side into this pole then you've got to get the whole lot back in the van poles and all right so once you got that piece in and you've got the both in they're both going to be dangling around don't connect them together yet because you need to get these things on so these are what's going to hold it up to the ceiling like that out the way so slide these on put these on first before you connect them just dead easy don't know what way they go round. How about reading the instructions? That'd tell you, wouldn't it? You have a top one, which is smaller, and then you have a bottom one, which is there, which is a little bit longer. Best thing to do, you will have to move your screen or your window, your whatever you've got there, and then your dash cam, if that's on there, you have to push that straight. So when it comes to using again, you gotta pull it back out. But push that out the way, your reversing camera if you've got one like me that will have to be lied flat like that you can't sort of have it like this because it gets in the way of the window coming across the blind so move that like that before you even screw these up top and the bottom pull both blinds across so these little tabs they click up that one clicks down and then the whole window blind will come right across 
blind. Now, in the top of your window blinds just there, there is this section which will move to the right and that takes for the bar that is going to your window screen for your either reverse camera or whatever is on there. That's on one on this side and then you've also got one on this side as well. So it just gives the gap when you close it, that gap there will go to the bar that goes from this right the way back to the window screen. So we can close these over now. Now once they're closed over, then you can undo the sticky pad of this one here and you can stick that to the top so you decide where that's going to go and then undo the sticky pad on the bottom one and decide where that's going to go because the window is now stretched out and it's all level. So we're going to get them stuck first and we'll be back. I'm hungry. When are we done? They do need screwing down. If you have got a lift up tray like us, you can still use the lift up tray. No problem at all. Then once your top one is in and your bottom one is in, your blinds just unclick from there. One click. One click. One click. And another click. And then they will literally just, don't forget about your top piece. They will just close over like that. Then your blinds, We'll magnet it together like that, and it's fine. Perfect. So then, Emma can put the side ones on. And as you can see, it goes dark. Lar. Right, now, to tackle the top piece. Right, we messed up. This gets screwed on after your top trim goes on. That's last to go on. So, How did we find that out? Because Emma read the instructions. How about reading the instructions? That'd tell you, wouldn't it? Right, so we got the trim up, which is just on there, as you can see. Which is just on there. Trim runs all the way along to the other side, and it just keeps the underneath bar free. One thing that we did have to do was the camera that was mounted on there, which goes onto this bar, because the trim comes past it we have to take the camera off so I've rewired the camera into the actual screen on the dashboard there so we've got when you want to reverse the camera then goes to there if you couldn't do that you would have to some way extend the arm on here because these just don't fit with the camera on there what's the window blinds fitted what do you think of them yeah 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 all right. They are kind of just like, yeah. you know, for what you pay for those window blinds, which is close to £600, <laughs> they're not cheap. Did you do the job they're designed for? I don't think now we've fitted them. Um, and a friend of ours is Paul, Paul's Yellow Van. Go and check him out, subscribe on the interwebs. What? I didn't say anything. Um, Paul summed it up basically in a nutshell. They're not cheap, they're not worth the money, but once you've had them fitted, you can't do without them. And I don't think we could, could we? No, it does give you more space. Yeah, it just opens up the whole cab space in the vehicle when you've got them fitted, so... Do you want to spend out £600 on them? Maybe not. But once you've seen someone using them, and you've seen them, and the ease of use of just being able to pull them over and close the fronts up and open the whole cab space up, maybe you know if you've got money knocking around then by all means go and waste it on a bit of plastic and wax paper because that's exactly literally all they are oh and a few screws oh yeah and a few screws and apparently um there's a couple of instruction manuals as well <laughs> don't know i don't i don't do the readings only only books and the books i read are all pictures and you pull little strings and things pop up, don't they? Yeah. Like, like. Rude. Right. So's your face. Where are you going? Because doggos need walking, don't you? Yes. Woof. <laughs> 